What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I want to show you guys the best teams that you can use in order to win on each of the three levels on NBA 2K21 Play Now Online. Now, this will go for current gen and next gen, and uh, both teams, as long as the rosters are the exact same, they will change over time with real injuries, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, these teams will work, and you'll be able to use these teams, and they are the best in each of the three tiers. So, we'll get into it, go over to PlayStation, and I'll show you guys what teams to use. Alright guys, not to brag in any way or any sort of thing, I just want to show you guys that I do know somewhat what I am talking about. Uh, my record, as you can see at the top, is 248-12 and 12 on next gen with a 95.4 overall win percentage. Um, I'm currently number one on the top 100 for this week, uh, and overall, we don't really we don't really talk about overall. Um, I am also in the greatest of all time, so I'm in the last category, it's kind of hard to see this one's taken out, but you can see on the far right, the greatest of all time trophy is, uh, is uh, filled in, so I have completed that as well. Now... If you don't know already, there is three tiers you need to complete when on each of these uh, 10 levels when you're going through Play Now Online. Uh, when you do complete those levels, you will unlock whatever it says next to the VC. So for uh, freshmen, you unlock tier three historic teams and so on and so forth. Now the best, uh, sorry, the best teams to use. Now tier one, tier one, it, it, it's a bit of a struggle, right? You cannot really get any games if you go as an all-time team. Now, you get tier one all-time teams in the Hall of Fame level, I'm pretty sure. Once you complete that, you get all of these Hall of Fame teams. You get the best team in the game, which is the uh, the all-time Los Angeles Lakers. However, you want to try to stick with the current NBA teams. This will also help you get, gain the knowledge of current players. And the best team to use would have to be... I personally, personally, I always use the Bucks. People know that I use the Bucks quite a lot. They got the best defensive, one of, one of if not the best defensive team in the entire game, and they've got Giannis. They got Chris Middleton, who's had a huge boost this year. Uh, Dante Divincenzo with slash and takeovers, incredible. And Drew Holiday at the top is this incredible as well. So all these players can shoot. Giannis has a 73 three ball this year, and obviously all of his interior badges and whatnot are incredible as well. A 99 defense, a 98 overall team. However, we we'll jump across the Lakers. Everyone that loves using the Lakers, one of the most offensive-based teams in this game. They can they, they play so well. They've got such a good depth off the bench. You will make sure that you can use Montrez Harrell off the bench, Kyle Kuzma. Use all those players to your advantage. And another team which a lot of people like to use is the Golden State Warriors. Now, this team can't shoot as well. Obviously, they're in a 92, and the thing that lets them down is their defense. Their perimeter defense isn't too good. Curry's a bit of a liability, um, but on offense, this team is very, very good good. Draymond Green, obviously both ends of the floor. Very, very good. Now, when you get unlock your historic teams, you can use these teams. All right. And the best team that I use, I mean, obviously you got your tier one Miami Heat. This team, I, I used this in the LeBron video uh, the other day. I did use this team. It is very, very good. Uh, you guys can see for yourself, but the most used tier one historic team is this team right here. The Hampton Five Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant, uh, Draymond Green at the center. It is an incredible, incredible team. Me personally, I get rid of Draymond. I get rid of Draymond and I put JaVale McGee on. JaVale McGee is overpowered as hell in this game. It's insane. But if you want the best version of Steph Curry, use this team right here. The 19, uh, sorry, the 15-16 Warriors. This team has the best Curry in the game available. Better than the all-time Curry. Better than any other Curry in the game. This Curry is the best. So guys, those are the best teams to use in Tier 1. We'll jump across now to Tier 2. Alright guys, there are three main teams that you want to use when doing tier two. Now you would think that you would use this team right here, this Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics are healthy. They're very good in real life. They are terrible in 2K. I'm sorry. 85 overall. Obviously, there's some changes to the team. You know, Taco Fall and Thais and, and, and Peyton Pritchard here. But this team is horrible in 2K. Um, they've got no depth at all. They just can't. Like, Jason Tatum, it, it's just a struggle. This team right here, this Atlanta Hawks team, when they are healthy, okay? That is the key term of this video. When a team is healthy, they will be so much better. This team right here, a few injuries. But they are still, if probably the best team in this tier. Uh, Trey Young, incredible. The entire team can stretch the floor, obviously, except Clint Capella. Clint Capella is one of the best interior defenders in the entire game. And also the New Orleans Pelicans. This team, it's great as well. Obviously, Eric Bledsoe, the new addition to the team. Steven Adams as well. The uh, interior defense. The defense is, is quite good. It only has a 76 rating, but it's actually quite good. And the third team is the Portland Trailblazers. Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Derek Jones Jr. dunked over everyone. Roko is a very good shooter from the perimeter. And Yusuf Nurkic can finish inside as well. And 
and their de their bench is probably the best in tier two. Their, their bench is incredible. Uh, obviously, the Hawks, they do have uh, Rajan Rondo off the bench. They do have uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic, who will be coming back in replace of Cam Reddish. So normally, Cam Reddish will be on the bench. Uh, and they'll also have Danilo Gallinari in replace of DeAndre Hunter. So those two there, Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter, will typically be on the bench, and they will come on with Rajon Rondo. It is an incredible bench. Uh, you don't even have to watch. Like, sometimes I do even better with the bench. In terms of historic tier two teams, I don't really use a lot of them. Uh, you can see the all-time teams there as well. Uh, the best, I would say, just off the top of my head, the best team, this Dwayne Wade team is very good. You've still got Shaq. You've got, like, older Shaq. Quite dominant underneath, but you have to take into consideration you don't get a lot of games. And this team right here is very, very good as well. John Stockton, Karl Malone, very, very good. But take into consideration, you are very rarely going to get games if you queue up as a historic team, but especially if you queue up as a all-time team. All-time Bucks, I don't know how they're not tier one. Maybe because, you know, their, their small forward position is a bit iffy, but Giannis, Kareem, Oscar Roberts on the same team, insane. So guys, we'll jump into tier three. But the best three teams on tier two is Atlanta Hawks, New Orleans Power Pelicans and the Portland Trailblazers. Alright guys, in Tier 3, there is a lot of teams that have changed. Now, previously, a few weeks ago, the Atlanta Hawks were actually a Tier 3 team. That means that Portland and New Orleans were the only two, Tier 2 teams that I used, and Atlanta were actually a Tier 3 team. Now, there is very, very slim pickings on what team you can use in Tier 3. But if I had to go with a team, it would have to be the Pacers. The Pacers are extremely underrated in this game. Not only underrated in this game, but underrated in 2K. Malcolm Brogdon is having an incredible season. Victor Oladipo is a demon in 2k. Demonis Sabonis can score from anywhere in this game. Justin Holiday, Aaron Holiday off the bench. Miles Turner is what probably the great he's the greatest defender in tier three. He is absolutely incredible. Another team that obviously I mean the Miami Heat are usually up a little bit as you guys would know. But Memphis are surprisingly good when they got jarred. When they got jarred they are still a tier three team. I still do like using the Cavs, but I have to go with the team it would be the Pacers because the Hawks are no longer here. They used to be a tier three team. This will differ through the season right now if the Hawks remote, uh, go back to being a tier 3 team use them they are the best tier 3 team possible if not use the Pacers they're very very solid and in terms of uh, throwback teams you've got your uh, you got your old uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Oscar Robertson this team here has beaten me on a tier when I was using a tier 2 team it was my first loss uh, on next gen I someone used this team and I was using the Pelicans in tier 2 uh, and they beat me so that team is always very very good and also this uh, this heat team here. I always use this te heat team in uh, current gen and 20. It always worked very well for me, so I highly recommend them. And obviously, you've got your all-time teams. None of them are really that good. I don't even bother using them. Uh, you've got, I think, the Atlanta Hawks is probably the best team. They've got uh, Dikembe, Bob Pettit, Dom Dominic Wilkins, Lou Hudson. Like, very, very good teams. So, guys, that is the best teams to use for each of the three divisions on NBA 2K. Then make sure, when you're going into it, use these teams. Okay, you need to use these teams. You, if you think you're comfortable with another team, use that. But make sure you use these teams over and over again. If you can get used to their jump shots like I have, if you've seen me on stream, you'll see me using the Bucks a lot. You'll see me using the Lakers occasionally. I want to get used to their jump shots. So that is the best way to advance up to the GOAT level if you want to get that. There's a lot of VC on offer. You get a lot per game as well. I've got over 400,000 for playing this game mode. Absolutely incredible. Guys, I hope you did enjoy. Please leave me a thumbs up if this helped you at all. Comment down below what teams you use for tears and uh and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace